the events on Silver, episode 110, Oliver's Return. I heard that Oliver's coming back today. Oh, really? Yeah, he is, said Eel. I'll be glad. Because he needs to help shunt the trucks and, and take his other trains that we've been doing for the past, like, three weeks. Or how long he's been gone. Yeah, I'm tired of doing, I'm tired of showing in the yards. Yeah, I need to collect this good train. Alright, time to get all the trucks ready. Hmm. Alright, you go there. And you'll just cut on string the trucks that we need for the train. I need to get you. Come on, trucks. Hmm. This is probably the best one. Well, I'm going to slow my siding. Huh. Don't pump us, eagle. Is it Mr. Explosive? No, don't be rude, Matt. Matt? Who's Matt? That's my brother. Wait, Mr. Explosive's real name is Matt? Yes. And I'm Maria. <laughs> What's so funny? Alright, your name does not match what, what you look like. And neither does yours! Shut up! Ha. Huh. At least I have a normal name. Shut up! I've known multiple people over the years named Eagle. Oh, really? What? What, a tiny little toy? Oh, that some kid left on the platform? Hmm? No! Like, have you actually met a human being called Eagle? No. Was it an engine? Yes. And multiple engines have been named after birds. I... You know Sir Heidel on, on the narrow gauge railway, right? Yeah, duh. Who doesn't know him? Well, his original name was Falcon. Also, I knew an engine called Hawk. Alright. Uh, Alright. Grab you. Put you there for now. Alright. Come on, you dumb trucks. All right, you know. Oh, there's gonna be here soon. We need to have this good string ready. You're the one that's pulling and pushing us, not us. Said the truck. Quiet! <laughs> Left a van. All of you, shut up! Oh. My smoke box hurt. Then maybe we should keep on going. No, you're not gonna keep on going. I need a nap. I then heard Oliver's whistle. Hi oh, guys, long time no see. Ah, finally you're back, Oliver. Do you know where du you know how Douglas is? No, he went somewhere else to be rebuilt. I went to Swindon. Ah, I see. I see. Well, welcome back to Soul Roar. See you. Thank you. Also, is Toad back yet? Yes, he's been back for a little while now. Oh, good. Is he going to be on my train? Sadly, no. He is with another engine right now. Ah, I see. Well, what train am I pulling? This line here, with all these cars. Wait, I don't recognize some of them. Like that... That... that Dynamite car, and that box car, and that milk tanker. Hmm, interesting. Well, come on, you trucks. Ugh. Of course, the first ender of the day for me is Oliver. Scruffy. Ugh. Oliver. Oliver, then head down the line. 
Yeah, it's been a long journey from Swindon in the Great Western region. So it was going quite slow. I was just trying to get used to pulling trains again. In the truck, so he was going too slow. Faster! Faster! Yelled Scruffy. No, we're going slow. I haven't pulled a train in a while. And the trucks have bumped him. And continued on bumping him. On, on, on! No, stop this! Said the milk tanker. Stop this! Matt, stop doing this and sit with all the rest of you! On, on, on! Whoa! Brakes! Brakes! Oliver yelled to the brake van. And the brake van. And put the brakes on. I was stopping them! Said the brake van. Good! But the trucks had bumped Oliver again. And there was one more big bump. And then they derailed him. Right in front of the magic buffers. Oh, help! He said. I need help! Yelled Oliver. Help! Help! Toby was going over, over the bridge. And he heard Oliver scream for help. Then he had stopped. Who's there? It's Oliver! Oliver, you're back! Where are you? I'm under the blue bridge! Okay. I'll be coming. Just a minute. Thank you, he said. You stupid trucks, said Oliver. <laughs> then Toyland came and he had cobbled up. Alright, you ready? Yeah, he said. Alright, heave! Put on your brakes, said Mr. Explosive. No, don't put on your brakes, said the milk tanker. But all the trucks put on their brakes, said the milk tanker. Uh, sorry, I I'm doing the I ain't putting my brakes on. Brake van, are your brakes released? Yes, they are. Said the brake van. Uh, whoa! Thank you, Solver. Yeah, no problem. Now I'm closing the trucks for now. I'll, I'll grab some water van to inspect you, and I'll take the train for you. Are you sure enough? Don't you remember what I'm... I'm... I'm part diesel, remember? Alright. Solver. I forgot. Of course you did. And the work... And the cool work van inspected Oliver. Alright, Oliver. Your front bumper van's damaged. That's it. Okay. How long will it take repairing? Mm, not too long, probably. But you won't be able to take your train because you can't take trains if your buffering's broke. I'll take the train, said Toby. I'm strong enough. Then, he took the trucks. And if you trucks even think about doing anything, I will make sure that you will not be coming back to work for a good long time. He said, trucks, yes sir, they said, and that's how I like it. Oh, good old Toby. Always knows what to do to stop those trucks. Yeah, says the driver. Well, guess we better get to the works. Yeah. Let's get going. Uh, I hate... I hate dealing with trucks most of the time. Is it Toby? Why do you hate handling us? Is that truck? Because you're all troublesome! I ain't, said the milk tanker. Besides you. Because I know you. You're actually quite nice. And you saw Thomas coming along the main line. Thomas, what are you doing? You want to collect the train, duh! Said Thomas. Ah, oh, okay. 
Well, I'd take this train over for Oliver. Can you help me out a little? I'm gonna start to run a little on the water. Yeah, of course. So, Thomas? Wait, did you see Oliver? He's back? Yes. Yes, he is. That, that's amazing. They got him repaired fast for the damage that happened. Yeah. You can say that. Yeah, because he's gone for practically nearly a month. Yeah, I know. Well, let's take the train room. So, why ain't he taking the train? Well, these trucks, besides the moat tanker, pushed him and he got derailed. His front buffering got damaged. And you know that you can't take trains with a damaged buffering. You should know that. Because he, he ran to the station master's house. Shut up! What was that? Says a couple of the trucks. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, well, decades ago now, Carlos thought he could, that he could take care of himself and don't didn't need his driver. So he went and he crashed into a station master's house. You have any other stories about Thomas? Oh yes, I do. I'll tell you them along the way. He said. And Toby then told the trucks for stories, and Oliver was back, and was being repaired again, and everything went back to normal.